Hey friends, welcome to Make Anything. It's Devin here, and I am so incredibly excited for today's video because I get to introduce you all to Tippy Tree. <laughs> Tippy Tree is this tabletop stacking game that I actually came up with way back in college when I was just getting started with 3D printing. Make Anything didn't exist yet, and yet it's something that I've been secretly working on since then, playtesting and tweaking to get things just right because I think I've got something really special with this game. And, well, today I finally get to share it with the world. Alongside the release of this game, I'm also hosting another awesome competition with my mini factory where you could win your own brand new 3D printer. So I'll give you details about that later in this video. But first, how about we just play a quick game of Tippy Tree? Cool. All right, first of all, while you can have tons of fun playing Tippy Tree on your own, it's really a game designed to be played with family and friends. Unfortunately, thanks to the pandemic, we're still being pretty cautious here in California. So, well, we're gonna have to settle for some movie magic. Devin? Sup? Hey, looking good. Thanks, you too. <gasps> Right, let's get started. First off, let's take a look at some of the parts for this game. Of course, we have the tippy tree itself, and this is basically the base of the game. You could start building directly on top of this, but we also have some branches and some trunks, which you can build up on top of the tree to create different arrangements and create more variety between games. So you can create a nice tall tree like that, which will be a little bit more tippy, but why don't we do something simple just like that? Looks good to me. Great, so we've agreed upon our tree. That's the base of our game. And now we can look at the actual playing pieces, which are these leaves. Now you might be thinking, these are some really strange looking leaves, but these weird leaves are exactly what make Tippy Tree different from any other stacking game you've ever played. See, this specific shape is able to stack, hook, and connect to itself in over 60 different ways. And by using leverage, you can build some really crazy trees. You'll be surprised at how many tricks you learn with these leaves. There's really a lot to discover. Anyways, you're gonna wanna print out a bunch of these leaves, and then we'll make sure that every player gets the same amount. I have the basic set of 24 leaves here, so we'll get 12 each. And to make things easier, I printed 12 light leaves and 12 dark leaves so we can quickly divvy these up. All right, it's game time. So usually the first player to make a move will be whoever lost the last round or the person with the closest upcoming birthday. So in our case, well, I guess you can just go first. Thanks. Simply put, the goal of Tippy Tree is to be the first player to get rid of all the leaves in their stockpile by balancing them on the tree. And each turn consists of placing one leaf. Ouch. If a player drops their leaf or knocks any other leaves off of the Tippy Tree, they have to add those leaves back to their stockpile and their turn is over. So it's not only about getting your leaf to stay on the tree, but you might want to make it harder for the other players by setting all sorts of traps. I like to call this one the cliffhanger. Phew, that was a nail biter. To counter these traps, you can actually manipulate other leaves on the tree during your turn, as long as you're only touching them with your active leaf and you can only hold your leaf with one hand. Nice move. Thanks. So that's the gist of this game. We'll continue taking turns going back and forth, trying to make the other player drop leaves without doing the same ourselves. Your typical game like this with 24 pieces and two players will usually take about 10 minutes to play, but in the end, it really depends on how much you challenge each other. 
Ooh, that's gonna be a tough tip to recover from. Sorry, Devin. Maybe next time. Yeah. Good game. Good game. Great guy. So there's my little demo of Tippy Tree. And of course, that one quick game isn't gonna cover all the possible scenarios, but hopefully it gives you a good idea of what this game is like and how fun it can be. For the full instructions, the download does come with some nice printable PDFs I designed. So there's a game manual that comes with all the setup and rules. And there's also some tips and tricks and alternate rules just to keep things interesting. And I'll also throw in a printing guide that covers anything you might need to make sure you get your tippy tree printed perfectly. That said, I did design this game to be as easy to print as possible. I call it print and play because it doesn't require any support material or any post-processing of any kind. If you've got the right print settings, you should be able to just pluck this straight off the build plate and start playing. So that's something I'm really proud of. Really, this entire game is something that I'm immensely proud of. And I think a lot of that is due to the fact that this is exactly the type of game I would go crazy for as a kid. I mean, forget the game, but just building trees is super fun. It's not as intuitive as you might think because the leaf shape is so weird and there's a lot of discovery along the way. Luckily, it's a game for all ages, so I can still enjoy it. I play with my parents and they enjoy it, and hopefully you'll enjoy it too. With that said, Tippy Tree is now available at MyMiniFactory.com and it is a paid download, but I hope you can really appreciate all the work I put into inventing this game from scratch and then making it work as a 3D printable game, which is its own thing. But really, the value should come from the fun times and fun memories that you create playing Tippy Tree with the people you love. Oh, and you also get a tiny Tippy Tree. All right, now for the great big final big exciting announcement, it's competition time. That's right, once again, I've teamed up with the fine folks at My Mini Factory for another design competition, and this one should be really fun. This time around, I made a point to think up a prompt that's super inclusive, so anyone could join, no 3D printer or 3D modeling skills required. I also wanted to make this an opportunity for you all to be able to participate in the design process with me. So, this is gonna be a Tippy Tree skin design competition. I know that sounds kind of weird, but hear me out, it's gonna be cool. If you play enough video games, you're probably already familiar with the idea of skins. Basically, they're a way to change the look of an item in the game without actually changing the gameplay. It's pretty much just a way to customize your character and show off a little bit. Well, I wanted to take that experience and bring it to the physical realm by having you guys help me design some really cool alternative skins for the tippy tree. So the way this will work is you can follow the link in this video description to the competition page. And on that page, you can download the entry sheet, which is basically just a piece of paper that you can print out that has a front view of the tippy tree and a top down view of the roots. And all I'm asking you to do is draw your alternative tippy tree skin on top of that entry sheet and either scan it in or take a photo and send it back to us at my mini factory. I've also included a little ideation sheet with little tiny tippy tree templates so that you can draw out a bunch of different ideas. And then when you see that one idea that really calls to you, you can go ahead and put it on the final entry sheet and turn it in. I actually made a little entry myself. I call it the slippy sea monster. And as you can see, I drew over the template. I just used a pen and colored pencil, but really you can use whatever medium you prefer. Callouts are always handy. I also changed the base a little bit, but we really don't want to change the function of the game. We're just trying to change the look of things. So don't try to make a tippy tree that's twice as tall or on wheels or anything crazy like that. I also added a few colors here just to make the presentation more exciting, but realize that we do want the models to work as a single piece, single color print. Anyways, you'll find the full rules on the competition page, but for now, Let's talk about prizes. So you'll have three weeks to submit your design. And after that, there will be a one week voting period 
where anyone can vote on their favorite designs over at My Mini Factory. After that week, we'll count up all the votes and the most popular entry will become an actual Tippy Tree skin available with the official download. I'll actually be the one who takes your drawing and turns it into a real 3D model, so there might be some interpretation involved, but it's your design becoming a Tippy Tree, which is pretty cool. Of course, you will be rewarded for your fantastic entry, so that most popular design will be the winner of a brand new Artillery Sidewinder X1 3D printer. You guys know I'm a big fan of the Artillery X1. It's a fantastic direct drive printer. It's got a nice big build volume and it just does an amazing job with prints. I'll also print out a custom Tippy Tree set with your special skin and ship that to you as well. The runner up with the second highest number of votes doesn't get a custom skin, but you'll still be rewarded with a brand new Artillery Genius 3D printer, which is basically the same awesomeness of the Sidewinder shrunken down into a slightly smaller printer. Now, there will be one final reward, and that will basically be my personal choice. As creator of the game, I get these special perks. So, I'll go through all the entries myself and pick my personal favorite, and that design will also get turned into a custom skin. You'll get your custom Tippy Tree set shipped to you, and you'll get a Sovol SV01 3D printer. The SV01 is another amazing printer. In fact, I used it to print out a lot of these Tippy Tree pieces, and it's super reliable and super precise. So that's going to be another great prize. I want to give a big thanks to Artillery and Sovol for providing those 3D printers for this competition. As one final reward, all the winners will also get a full year subscription to My Mini Factory Plus for free. So My Mini Factory Plus is a subscription service that lets you access My Mini Factory ad-free, and it also gives you substantial discounts on premium models like Tippy Tree, and also you get special deals on 3D printers and such. So, lots of really cool prizes printers, premium services, and your skins included in the Tippy Tree game. Oh yeah, that's super exciting stuff, so start racking that brain, start thinking up some really cool Tippy Tree skins, and I cannot wait to see all your submissions. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Thank you so much for watching through, and thank you for letting me share Tippy Tree. There's still a lot of fun tips and tricks I could share about this game, but I'll leave some of it up to you to discover for now. Anyways, if you want to see what I come up with next, if you want to see the progress on that competition, make sure you're subscribed, like the video if you like what I'm doing, and until next time, I'm Devin, this is Make Anything, and as always, stay inspired. <laughs>